The UK is recognised across the world for its marine life and it's a joy to meet these incredible creatures close up. I want to show you how to get out there and enjoy them. Lindsay Chapman, Chris Packham. at the ready. What's happening? I sure am. It's been a very busy day online, actually. Been given the responsibility of a herd yeah, That was just ridiculous, wasn't Unbelievable. it? Unbelievable. A once-in-a-lifetime experience. In fact, I've slightly got the hump that I didn't get on the back of that trip. Yeah, very good, very good. It came out of the water 16 times. Oh, Lucky man. But do you know what? This year has actually been a bumper year for whale sightings in the UK, with more reported sightings than ever before. You joined the Retro Club. We're going to have to talk about it. Oh, Fashion. Those internet sites that sell things so very cheaply. <laughs> wow. We're all drawn to them, as we can see. Been, I like it. No, I like it very thank much. Thank you. Well, you've been really going for it, so I thought I'd, you know, join the party. Well, Not this bad. belonged to my dead Uncle Derek, and those were his curtains. <laughs> so you've done a brilliant job. Do you know what? They have, they have got the texture of that. And look, hairband as well. I've gone full out on it. You have indeed. No, don't worry. It's not, nothing's missed. <laughs> and actually, the wildlife has been trying to impersonate you as well. That's almost the perfect match. Uncle Derek and the lackey moth. <laughs> I'd never have thought it. Absolutely. Absolutely amazing, but then I thought, do you know what? I'm not having that. I'm joining the party, and this happened. Oh, oh yes, a fritillary and your top. And I would like to point out that you're a caterpillar and I'm a butterfly, so there we go. In 2008, Lime Bay became Britain's largest marine protected area. 60 square miles of sea that's off limits to fishing practices like trawling and dredging. But the question is, has it made any difference? Did you know that seahorses are the only creatures in the world where the male rather than the female goes through pregnancy? Ah. Now, Hugh, I think that sounds like a fantastic idea. Well, let's hope it doesn't catch on among the mammals. Now, I've done something a little bit special tonight. I've done a tribute for our first guest. I've come up with this feature based all around one of Heather's most famous songs. So let's give this a go. You've got to search for the hero inside yourself. That's right. You've got to search for the heron inside yourself. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. It's yes, it's yes, it is. It's brilliant. Yes, I'm by a shed with a man, and it's a very interesting shed and a very interesting man. Nigel, you're one of the remote camera team here, bringing us these fantastic pictures. Live Tawny Owl tonight. Great. Oh, the Tawny Owl's been a real sort of surprise for us, and possibly a highlight so far. Well, it looks fantastic, and your job is a pretty tall order. Uh, I know you've got bits to do. Actually, I've got things to do as well, so I really ought to uh, get off roving again. So thanks so much um, for talking to me, Nigel. Uh, brilliant to have a chat with you. See you later. See you later. <laughs>